Oh, so actually, there's a song that I found on Skate for Cancer's MySpace page, mm. uh, Year of the Cure. Yeah. And so I was just wondering um, what made you do that song, and how did you guys get connected to do that sort of, I guess, collaboration, you could call well, it? Well, he, um, Rob, uh, I played at one of his events last summer. Mm hmm And I think, yeah, it was last summer. And um, we started talking after that, kind of, and then he said, would you like to do a song for the cause? And I'm like, yeah, of course, I believe in everything that he's doing. He's such an amazing person, like everything that is yeah. so, so cool, and I'm so proud of them. So I sat down, and I was thinking about where I wanted to go with it, and I decided to do something as opposed to something like more sad, I just, which is, it's typical of my music to do something sad but hopeful. Mm. You know, there's always like a positive side to it. So I thought instead of, you know, being sad about what's happening, let's, let's say the year of the cure is now, you know. So that's where that kind of spawned from, and I had a really good time doing that. And at the end of the song, there's kind of gang vocals, and I got a whole bunch of my friends over, and we were like, by the end of the night, all arm in arm doing the gang vocals, and it was so much fun. So it has like a really good spirit to that song. That's amazing. It's, it's really nice. Fun. I find there's not enough, I guess, happy music. Music with a positive message, in the sense that, um, I don't know, there's so many songs out there that feel very angry and yeah. depressive, depressed and stuff. And so to see like the opposite spectrum of that, th I find there's not enough of it. You know what? <clears throat> I totally agree. I think me art and music specifically is a result of like moments of intense emotion mm -hmm. where you capture these moments and then you release an art product from that. That's like the exhaust of yeah. intensity. And generally what people will do is if you're really sad, you'll write a song that reflects that. You're like really sad. And I, what I aim to do, what I've learned to, to try to channel is taking that like emotion that I feel, whether it's angry or sad, and turning it into something that's going to benefit me positively. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, with Last Thing on Your Mind, which is the last song on the EP, um, I was really, really, really sad when I wrote that song. I was, I was having a really, really bad night, and all I could write was sad things. And then I almost feel guilty taking credit for writing the lyrics because um, I felt like this other voice being like, if all you can sing about is sad things, then sing about the last thing on your mind, and then you'll come up with something happy. And I was like, and it was kind of that moment where I was just like, why don't I turn this into something happy, and then I won't be sad anymore. So I take a negative situation and turn it into a happy song. So I want to talk a little bit about um, the old eight Navy ad commercials. And so what was it like to have so much exposure months before your album ever came out? It was... Uh, the Old Navy thing was awesome. They actually found me on MySpace. Wow. They uh, So everything's happening organically from my MySpace, which is awesome. Um, and they approached me to use the songs in the campaign, and I was a little skeptical at first. I was like, because I, I was being really careful and mm -hmm. protective over my music, because I needed to be represented the right way, especially people's first you know, view of it. So uh, we talked about it, and I heard about the ad campaign, and what is sort of like a romance episode style thing. And I thought that was so cute, and it fit the sentiment to my music really well. So I was really excited about it and, it, and it started, I had no idea what would happen. And basically, Old Navy gave me that platform that everyone started to notice from, which was awesome. Well, people just started to hear it, put it out, and people started to hear it, and it just started to resonate. And that's, and I, I, I many thanks to Old Navy for that, because they gave me that one chance to like show people my music and then the music spoke for itself after that. Absolutely, because I find so many times like I'll show people like your music and they'll be like, oh no, I haven't heard of Lights, who is it? And then I'll pop in my iPod. And they'll be like, I know it. Yeah, they'll be like, wait, that... Yeah. 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 Then, then they'll know it perfectly. Yeah. And so it's cool. It's and that's why yeah. I like to use quirky sounds because then people are like, oh wait, that's something I've never heard before except for that song. Absolutely, it's really unique that way. Oh, fun. <laughs> um, I want to talk about your new music video for Drive My Soul, and um, it really follows the idea of the artwork for the album. Very much. And um, for the comic books that you've been putting yeah. every, is it every Thursday? Every Thursday I put a new yeah. page of this out, until it's done, then I'll like draw a new one. <laughs> yeah, <and laughs> Based so, on like an event of that week. <laughs> this is the comic book here, and I'm not going to open up, because you have to wait every Thursday. <laughs> Go to imlights.com. Exactly. <laughs> Do it. And so, um, I guess, how was the experience um, of filming your first major mu music video? And it, so yeah. good. Okay, so I, I came up with this treatment and the idea, the crazy idea for it on this train while I was, you know, going to write with some friends, and I came up with the concept of it. it was It was in my head. It was exactly the way that you saw it. And then I, I showed up on the set, and it was, it was like someone stepping into my mind. I was like, That's this awesome. is crazy. So it was exactly the way I wanted it to be, and. Um, it was really special. I had my dad come in to be the astronaut. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so So good. that was uh, really special, and um, I couldn't have asked for a more perfect video. That's amazing. <laughs> I had a really good time doing it. Oh, 
Wow. And so where did you get the idea to do sort of this like space theme for your um, comic books and your album artwork and for your music videos? I'm really inspired by sci-fi. Like I read Space yeah. Adventures and Magnus Robot Fighter. I'm like a comic book geek. <gasps> and some of my prized Magnus comics were actually featured in the video. I was like reading them. And, um, Sweet. And I'm a huge fan of Barbarella. It's like sort of Barbarella's Logan's Run style. Like it was retro future style. The way that they would have thought the future would have been in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So it, I just like, I'm such a sucker for that old school sci-fi thing. So I wanted to do, to do that. But I also wanted to look really, really homemade because that's essentially what it was. I mean like the headband, the gold headband yeah. that I had and I actually like bought craft paper and cut it out really? and put it on and like my wristbands were like craft paper. That's I was like so had good. blisters at the end of the day from them. Um, it was really fun and I, I was, was super hands on and we just all had a really great time doing it. And, um, it turned out exactly the way I wanted it. Oh, that's amazing. And you are mentioning a little bit earlier that there's another music video on its way. Do you think you'd be able to disclose that information? I can give a little bit, but I'm, I'm sitting on it for a while. It's going to come okay. out in a couple months. No specific date yet, but it's for ICE. And I'll tell you this, I hold up for my part in my apartment for like a week making all the parts for it. So it's very, Ooh. very much my hands in it. It was a lot of fun. Well, that's an awesome hint. <laughs> oh.